The Bible is not the word of God. The Bible is not the word of God. The Bible is not the word of God. If you believe that a book is the words of a sky daddy, a sky god, a sky deity, then who did that to you? Who lied to you? Who messed you up? That you think that a God up there, his words are inside a book. Wow. Okay. If the Bible is the words of God, can I ask, what Bible? No, what Bible is the words of God? Because there are different Bibles. And I am not talking about translations. I'm talking about the actual Bible itself. There is the Orthodox Bible, right? The Ethiopian Orthodox Bible, I think. Then there is the one that has, I think it's the Catholic Bible. That one has the Apocryphas and some other books missing. Then you have the 66 books. So which one Maybe there's even more. Who knows? So which of these Bibles is in fact the word of God? And let me understand. So God wants to speak to humans. He's got something to say. He can't say it himself. He inspires. He inspires men who write these words down. Now, what we know about men, we are infallible, right? We are fallible, not infallible. We are fallible, right? So we are prone to making mistakes. And so this God sends his words to fallible men who are prone to making mistakes. So how do you know that the words inside the Bible were indeed inspired by God? What test did you run on these men? No, because it is one thing for someone to say, I received words from a God, a sky daddy. It is another thing to prove that what they're saying is in fact true. So what test did anyone run on these claims of words being inspired by a sky daddy? What test did they run? What methodology did they use to prove that these words were from a sky daddy? No. Because you don't get to tell us that the Bible is the words of a God and don't prove it. No, you've got to come, come correct. And I continue to maintain the Bible is not the word of a God. It never was the word of God. In fact, it's the words of men who want to control people. The Bible is the words of men who want to have a tool to mess with people's heads by convincing them that a sky daddy somehow has something to do with these books. But for me, the worst part is the claim. These people make the claim that if you're not reading the words of God, right? God has prepared a place of eternal torture, hellfire, right? So hellfire is waiting for all of us who don't get it right somehow. So if you don't get the right words of God and follow it, you're going to end up in hell, right? So, but he's left behind this book that people can't even figure out. I was talking to somebody the other day and they said, I need the Holy Spirit. Now you can't just read the Bible and understand it. You need some other thing added to it. You need to ask God to come down and come and tell you how to read it. And then you need that additional ghost to come and I need a ghost to come and help me understand the words of God. Listen, I am good. That ghost impregnated that young girl, right? Go ask Mary. She'll tell you. When the ghost came down on her, she ended up getting pregnant. Now, I need that ghost to understand the words of the God, the sky person up there. Please miss me with that, right? But if you think that the Bible is in fact the words of God, you've got to prove it. 
prove the link between the sky daddy and the book otherwise stop with the lies stop it